Hi there. For today's project, we're going to need a bezel and a clear glass cabochon that fits into that bezel. I sell these in my Etsy shop, but I think that most jewelry supply stores on Etsy carry some sort of bezel. Of course, it doesn't have to be that one. We need 26 gauge wire, three jump rings, some chain, a clasp, I'm just using this little heart, we need top coat, nail polish, and then a colored nail polish. Now I got these at the Dollar Tree. This one is just called Sparked. It's a pink. And then of course the clear top coat. This is a base and top coat. Some E6000 glue. I have an anvil. And I have a really bad habit of using the side of my anvil for some strange reason. I purchased this one years ago on Etsy. I'm sure somebody sells them there. Chasing Hammer. I got from the same shop as the Amber. An ink pen and some paper. Or a pencil and paper. So get your supplies together and we'll get started. I don't know what it is with me lately for getting all of the tools that we need. I have a wire cutter, a couple of chain nose pliers, and a round nose pliers. Okay, let's begin by drawing around our cab. And this is just to reference the actual size of what we have to work with. Now you can draw in here anything you want, but I'm making this as a gift. So I'm just going to need a simple S. That's not all that great, but you get what I mean. Now you can follow this with your wire or just do it freehand. So I'm going to start with a coil for my S and then I'm just going to work the rest freehand. Going back to check my size here, I will also periodically actually put it under my cab and inside my bezel just to make sure I'm on track with the size. So draw your shape better than that and get your wire shape made and we'll come back. Okay, here is my S. Now I'm going to place it on my anvil, and I'm going to tap it with my hammer, which, gosh, sorry, I'm not going to make you listen to that. Now you're going to tap this gently. This is 26 gauge wire. It can be extremely fragile. It's very thin, and it will work harden as you hit it with the chasing hammer, but that's not our goal. Our goal is to get this as flat as possible without breaking it. So get that done. Okay, I have flattened out my S. Now, when you do that, it will distort your shape somewhat, but you can just put it back where you need it to be and how you want it to look. So now we're going to use this clear polish and turning our cab upside down, we're just going to paint on a little layer of this clear top coat, base coat polish. And then we're going to lay our shape. And if you're doing an initial or anything else that has a right or a wrong side, you want the wrong side to face up so that when you look through the other side of the cab, it's in the right place. So put it on your cab, adjust it to where you want it, and let it dry. Okay, that clear polish has dried. 
right so now I'm going to take this sparkly polish and I'm just going to paint right over this cap over the letter over everything and I'm just doing a thin layer we're going to put on a second layer so we don't want to go too thick with the first layer so just paint that all over the back of your cab and let that dry okay this first layer has dried so now let's touch this up again with the second layer and if it is too white for you when you look at the other side go ahead and put a third layer just make sure that each layer dries between That's the first time I'm actually using this specific polish, so I don't know what's going to happen. But get as many layers on there as you need to make it look the way you want it to look, and we'll finish up. Okay, while we're waiting for that polish to dry, we'll get our necklace ready. I have opened a jump ring, and I'm just going to place it onto this bezel. And tighten that up. There's a K I worked on earlier. So now let's open a jump ring and place it on the end of the chain. Then feed the bezel onto the chain. And place the jump ring on this end of the chain and place on our clasp. Okay, here is my cab completely done. And I ended up with four white layers of this polish. Now, if that S looks different to you than the one that we started with, that's because it is. I didn't let the last layer of polish dry completely so when I put it in the bezel it it was a mess I used fingernail polish remover to get the polish off of the cab but my S was pretty much ruined so I had to make another one so make sure everything is dry before you go any further Okay, to finish up our project, I am just going to put some E6000 into my bezel. And I'm going to use kind of a generous amount and spread it around. I wouldn't go super crazy with this. And now I'm just going to place my cab into my bezel and try to get it as even as possible and now we just let it dry so I'm going to let mine dry and then I'll get some pictures taken for you I hope you give this a try it is a lot of fun if you let everything dry and do it properly. So thank you so much for watching.